good looking shot in there. Peter Costas about 10 feet away, but a pretty good break on this putt, probably about a foot. Oh, great shot. Hale loves it. And here was Irwin's effort just a moment ago. Yeah. Front edge now. 157. It's an eight iron. He knocked it down a little bit. He's going right at it. Mm. Boy, this has got the right distance. Oh. Mm. Dust, dusted right in there about four feet away. I told you earlier, Kalkovacchia had missed the short one for par. And I put a lot of pressure on Faxon's shoulders. But he's one of the best in the business of putting. Second rank this year on the PGA Tour. Always hovering in the top five. Now Raymond, who has stiffed it at 18 each of the first two rounds, his teammates already inside of five feet. Jimmy, you don't think uh, seeing Elk's ball sitting there four or five feet, he doesn't feel good about this shot oh, right man. about now? Looking the whole place is filled. Come on. Come on. Check it out, guys. Uh oh. <laughs> How about that? That's better. That's underneath the flag stick. I'll take the break out. That's three straight days. <laughs> Who's had to watch the last four teams come in here, but Davis Love and Tom Kite. Well, what do you think? Well, you know, obviously the chances are not very good right now with those great shots that those guys hit in there. And, uh, uh, yeah, I think it would have been too much to ask to have four teams and none of them birdie the last hole. And, and uh, you know, it looks like they're going to do that. But uh, but we played very well today. We knew we got in position when uh, the Eagle putt went in on 16. And it, if we had uh, been able to do something the last couple of holes, would be okay. 16 under though today is pretty good. Yeah, it's a good score. You know, Greg and them went for 17, I guess. So it was a day to do it. Okay, we're watching. Back to you in the tower. And of course, it'll be the Litsky Irwin firm first. And uh, they have to just automatically assume that this is for the playoff. They know that Floyd and Elkington are four feet away. They're plumb bobbing and everything. Uh, a squat plumb bob. It's not that, an easy putt, that's though, serious. Bro. Not an easy putt at all, is it? Well, come on, Gary. You're right behind this line now. I know you're about 30 feet up. But can you can you read that from here? Mm -hmm. I know you're uh, not very good at putting, but you must be able to take this one. <laughs> yeah. Here's where I'd put this one. Okay. Knowing you're nervous, know you yeah. got to make it. So that yeah. means it's a six-inch break. I'm taking it to four. Yeah. I'm going to hit it on the toe and yeah. start breaking on my downswing. So yeah. I should break four inches from there. Okay. Okay. Now, what if happens if you got a 45-inch putter? No clue. <laughs> <laughs> It's near my throat, so I know it's moving. <laughs> oh. It's just amazing how those bees <laughs> turn up at the wrong time. <laughs> Sometimes they're imaginary, too. to ride downhillers. There's not a tougher putt to make, is there, for uh, anything? Got to hit perfect speed on that. Well, I, I hearken back to our colleague, Ken Venturi, who has said through the years, he one time asked Hale Irwin, if you had a putt on the 18th green to win, who would you want putting it? And Hale said, me. Hail. <laughs> and now Irwin, what is really a must situation. He's setting this one way outside the hole and he's going to hit one of those dying putts. Same way. Mm. I think. 
this championship is, is over. I agree with you. Steve Elkington couldn't get to that Baca quick enough. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> right. Get out of the way, guys. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, it's good. Get <laughs> Raymond doesn't even have a putter in his hands. Raymond does that a lot with his partners. You notice that? With, he does it in the Ryder Cup with Freddie Couples. Freddie's got a putt. He'll go put his putter away just to give him some confidence. Hmm. He's doing it right here with uh, Steve Elkington. Putter's in the bag. So half the field came to the last hole, 27 under. The first four have posted pars. And now this is for the win. Raymond's got to go get his putter. Can you imagine? <laughs> ten, ten players in a playoff. <laughs> We're one putt what away from what, what time's your plane taking off, Greg? <laughs> uh, this is what it's all about, oh. guys. <laughs> he told me on the eighth hole the first day Raymond had chipped his ball past the hole about eight feet Steve chipped up about four feet went up to putt it first and missed it so Raymond's got a par putt for eight feet and he says no problem partner I got this when he said he poured it he said that's when I knew I was going to have fun this week so he's going to do it right here Raymond's got the putt for the win otherwise five teams in a playoff. Uh -uh. Oh, how about that? Uh-uh. He doesn't miss two in a row. The old master, Raymond Floyd. Quite a finish, guys. I, mean, I think that's, that's unbelievable. Your best, I think that's your best shark shootout in five tries, Greg. I, I agree with you 100%. You know, I mean, I'm, well, we're all sitting here thinking play up all the way along, and uh, coming down to one guy to make it out of ten. That's impressive. Steve, Steve, I need another ball for Raymond. Still got his eyes wide open there. <laughs> Absolutely lives for this situation. See, he's got to line up left hand side and pushes it right back to the middle of the hole and no doubt. I mean, that's just flushed. I think that was a straight putt, too. Guys. It looked like it, yeah. <laughs> Steve's pushed it, but it looked like it's trying to break back to the left. Well, Raymond Floyd has won at the Shark Shootout for the second time. He was paired with Fred Couples back in 1990. The other time he won, this time Elkington. They were co-leaders after round one. They led by two after the second round. Fell behind today, but made a great charge on the back nine to win it at the 18th. Ladies and gentlemen, the presentation of the check and the trophy at the fifth Greg Norman, Franklin Fund Shootout, and on my left, Mr. Charles Johnson, President and CEO of Franklin Funds and the Franklin Templeton Group of Trusts. Right. And uh, you've got a pretty nice check to present to the winners, Steve Elkington and Ray Floyd. Ray, congratulations. Thanks, John. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. On behalf of the, all the 3,500 Franklin Templeton employees worldwide, uh, I congratulate you. Well, thank you, Charlie, and, and your great group, uh, and of course the other major sponsors here, Lexus, Dole, uh, Weyerhaeuser, uh, Taco Bell, I think, and of course our great friend uh, David Murdoch for having such a great event. It's really a pleasure to play here. Uh, there's nothing that's... Uh, that that is not accommodated, let's put it like that. It's really a pleasure, and thank you, Greg, for having this event. I know we're helping a lot of young folks uh, who are not as fortunate as all, as most of us. Yeah, I'd uh, like to uh, thank all the sponsors, Mr. Johnson, Franklin Funds, Mr. Murdoch, for providing us with this great facility. I'd also like to uh, thank Greg Norman for inviting me.